Hello everyone. Today I'd like to have a look at the different ways in which you can execute some commands against Autodesk object. We might be very familiar with the modify with the modify tools, specifically move, rotate, copy, mirror, scale, typical commands that we would use to move objects around. For instance, and this corner table, if one would like to move that into the corner of the building, one would execute the command move against the table and use a reference point to place that on a reference point. If you know what the shortcut for move is, which is M, and you press enter, then you could do that the same way. Traditionally, that's how we would have learned AutoCAD within the 90s, early 2000s maybe. But as time went on and the software became more interesting, we now have the ability to execute commands just by right-clicking on the insertion point of a block and then executing the commands against that block directly from here. So we are able to move. Always have a look at the subcommands just like before. And I found, at least with my students, that this seems to be the, the most common way in which this would be done recently. When you click on that point and you right click, you can also see that you've got your rotate commands. It operates against that object. Over here we are snapping in 30s. Let's just change that to 45. We know that we are working with the 45. We can select that element, right click on that grip, and then rotate. Right click on that grip and move. We've still got the base point that we can then specify exactly from where to where we would like to move that element. And again, we can invoke that command base point from that point in this direction, say by 200. And we can do the same with this computer. Click, right click, rotate through 45. Click, right click, move base point, front of the keyboard, onto that interface, click right click move, base point, and we can move it away by 200. And so you can see how the commands can be executed like that. Scale command similarly, scale, can do that visually. Of course if you just want to move an element from the base point you can do so. And there's some other plant that would be standing there. Now we've got the arrangement of these desks correct. You can also operate against all of these items by pressing shift and then adding all of the grips as hot grips. Once you do that, they will operate together. mirror, base point, midpoint, and up. We forgot to copy. Mirror, base point, first copy, then base point, and up.
and mirror. Copy base point and up. So we will see how the commands, there are many different ways in which these commands can be accessed. Don't forget about the grips on on your normal objects either. So looking at something like a line, or some lines, if you click on that So you can select more than one hot grip, rotate, see how you can move them together. And don't forget hovering over them will allow you to either stretch, which means that you can move in any direction, or lengthen. And especially with your polylines, you also have the ability to add vertexes, remove vertex, or convert into arc. So the grips have become more powerful as time has progressed within AutoCAD. Get to know them if they work for you, then use them. I'm not convinced that moving objects or scaling objects will be faster than using my shortcuts on the keyboard. So I'll be continuing drawing like I'm used to drawing. But like I said, it is a trend that I've noticed recently that more and more people are starting to use the grips to manipulate elements within AutoCAD. Until next time, enjoy drafting and AutoCAD. Bye now.